You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Peacock soap opera fans. This is Soap Dirt on YouTube, and we want to talk about Kristen and her evil sister, Megan, on Days of Our Lives, and what is going to come and what havoc these two are going to wreak. What will these daughters of Stefano Demera do? And we have a few ideas. Click that subscribe button below, please, so you stay up to date on all your favorite soap operas right here at YouTube with all your hot spoilers, casting news, comings and goings, all that stuff straight from Soap Dirt. Okay, so we are going to see in April and going into May as we head into May sweeps here soon. This is May sweeps 2023, depending on when you're listening to this. And Megan specifically asked, Megan Hathaway specifically asked that the ISA hand her over into custody of the Salem Police Department because she knew then she would wind up at Statesville Prison and she didn't want to be in ISA custody. She very specifically wanted to be at Statesville Prison. We have to wonder if she wanted to be there because she knows her adoptive sister is there. And of course, that's Kristen Demera. If you don't know all of Stefano Demera's children, we have a great video scroll down on our Days of Our Lives playlist about all of his kids because he had a bunch, some biological, some adopted, just a wild bunch of characters you might not have realized that all were his kids. So these two daughters, we've got Megan Hathaway, who has supposedly been dead, but she's really, she was frozen and then she was revived and she's been obsessed with Bo. So she's been awake more than 10 years because she's had Bo in cold storage for a little over like, I don't know, 13 years now. And then we've got her adoptive sister. Uh, Stefano adopted Kristen. She's not his blood child, but she definitely sees herself as a daughter of Stefano, as does Megan. And they have both proved that whether whether you share blood with a guy like him or not, his influence is what will determine your character because both these women are super shady characters, right? And this coming week, we are going to see Megan trying to lure Kristen to her side and into getting involved in some shenanigans with her. And Megan will tell younger sister Kristen that, you know, there's really no limit to what we could do together as Damaras if we get out of here. So perhaps she specifically wanted Statesville to be close to Kristen, or maybe she just wanted to be in Salem because she knew that's where Bo Brady is coming when he inevitably comes back into his right mind. However, just a side note is that Hope and Bo filmed 12 to 15 episodes, according to Christian Alfonso. So max of 15, they've appeared at this point in about 10. There's only a handful of episodes left with Bo and Hope. They touted this big reunion, and then we haven't gotten this big reunion. Coming into the third week in April, finally, Hope finds Bo at that Kyriakis farmhouse, and there will be at least a reunion in terms of, oh, Bo's alive? What? I didn't know that. And whether there will be a romantic reunion remains to be seen because with only five episodes left and Bo being in this bizarre Kyriakis frame of mind, there's no guarantee that we're going to see them right off in the sunset, but they both will ride off in the sunset soon, hopefully together, but horribly and perhaps in separate directions unless they speed up how things come. But maybe he'll see his fancy face and that will just snap him out of it. And so the bottom line is Megan has been protecting this knowledge that Bo Brady is alive. She even recently lied to Hope and lied to Patch and said that Thomas Banks was the one who had kidnapped Kayla because she did not, of course, want to say that Bo took his sister and ran off. And all that's going to come out because... Stephanie and Chad Demera are about to run into Thomas Banks. Eileen Davidson is reprising the role. And Thomas, of course, wants to know why they're asking questions for him, why they're looking for him. And no doubt it'll come out, okay, yeah, no, he doesn't have Kayla. So all this is going to come to light, and Megan's secret is going to be blown wide open. But she, surely she's not content to sit behind bars the rest of her life. And that's definitely where she's headed. We have to expect that she wants out of Statesville and Kristen, we'll talk about Kristen now. Kristen has her own agenda and her own wants and needs. She is in prison now, but she's not getting to see her daughter, Rachel Black, as much as she wants. She only gets to see Brady when he shows up angry at her. And of course, she loves Brady Black. And there's the ongoing issue of Brady possibly getting back with Chloe Lane. And that is not what Kristen wants either. And what she'd really like, of course, is a happily ever after with Brady and Rachel, the three of them as a little family. 
But barring that, if she can't have that, then she might do the thing that she was doing when she (laughs) was sent to prison, and that's trying to take Rachel and run away with her. So if Megan wants Kristen to break out of prison with her, she needs to dangle the right bait, and the right bait could be, let's break out of here, and I will help you get your daughter Rachel, and I will help you get away. I've got all these Demera assets and all this Demera property, and she probably has more resources than Kristen has at this point. And if she promises her, you know, you'll get your happily ever after with your daughter, even if you can't have Brady and, you know, move on with your life, find love, blah, blah, blah. So it could be really interesting. So Megan and Kristen could break out. They could snatch Rachel. They could take off. Alternately, they could break out and they could creep around in these secret passages in the Demera mansion and just wreak havoc on people and mess with people because they, there's definitely some grudges to be had. Uh, Kristen doesn't think that EJ has done right by her as a sibling. And of course, Megan doesn't know a lot of these younger siblings that well, like Stefan and Chad. Uh, and, you know, they all have these tangled backstories, but neither of these ladies are popular with the core Demeras living in the mansion right now. So they could lurk in the mansion. They could mess with them. They could go on a crime spree around Salem. They could kidnap Rachel. They could dump Chloe off a cliff. There's no telling what they could do. Personally, I'm super excited to see the dynamic when Megan and Kristen are face to face and we've got this sisterly bonding and plotting thing going on. So it should be very exciting. Please hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss any of our updates on Days of Our Lives and your other favorite soap operas. And let us know in the comments, what do you think? Are you excited to see Kristen and Megan? And how scary could the future be for Salem if Kristen and Megan break out together and start wreaking havoc? If they broke out together and they went their separate ways you know, they'd only be half as monstrous. I have a feeling that the two together would be just a a nuclear recipe for disaster because each of them has such capacity to do bad. And right now, of course, they're both doing bad in the name of love. Megan loves Bo and she's doing all this crazy stuff. Kristen loves Brady and that's why she's been sabotaging Chloe and building up all this anger in her daughter Rachel against Chloe. So they're, they're both doing it for love and they may think the ends justify the means. So it'll be very interesting to see if they escape prison and go do very extreme things and how these two feed the worst parts of each other. What do you think? Are you excited to see the Damara sisters hit Salem and wreak havoc? We'll see. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.